like a crucifix, she ready for religion She ain't go to church, but she know how to beg forgiveness This that kind of night that you can keep the room let me just start out by making it juicy. Hashtag non-spawns, hashtag soap and glory lip plumper. Mm. Non-spawns has two subscribers. <sighs> hey guys, it's Liv. Notice anything, I don't know, different? <laughs> I will be uploading a video soon on my hair transformation. This is honestly not its final form. This is this is a temporary fix for my situation right now. I am in the process of getting actual tape-in hair extensions in order. These are my own clip-in hair extensions right now that I just toned in my bathroom last night super professionally. So if you see like this really vast difference between like my hair and the extension hair it's because I still have a very, very, very blunt cut. And Taryn and I, Taryn, my hairdresser, we are just in the process of getting my hair to the color that I want. Honestly, I kind of like this color right now. So we had a lot of toner in it like yesterday and it was really, really purpley and I washed it for the first time last night and there's still a lot of purple and you can kind of still see some pink in here. That's why I toned my hair extensions these ones with my pink depositing shampoo and purple conditioner last night just so I could kind of match them to this. I'm gonna come back in, in like a week or so and we're gonna finish it off and then get some hair extensions color matched and then ordered, shipped in, and then installed. So I will get a video out once we get all of that said and done, but okay, enough rambling about my freaking hair. Let's just get into the bulk of this video. I lied. Actually, I'm gonna let you know where I got my shirt from. This is actually just a shirt that I got from Goodwill. Well, not Goodwill. It was called like Thrift Store America, Thrift America or something. And I was with my friend Madeline last night. She's a little cutie. Freaking love that girl. And then my jewelry. Where do we think my jewelry is from, guys? Any wild guess? Did I hear? Did I hear from 21? <laughs> Yes. Good job! Give this video a thumbs up if you just guessed correctly and if you did, you are a day one and I love you. <laughs> so today, I am going to be reviewing the Kylie Cosmetics Momager Palette. So there's Kris Jenner on the front with a little 10% on her sunglasses like the savage she is. Hi! What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't like your... Huh? My I believe this palette launched with a full collection last year for Mother's Day and Ulta has relaunched the Momager palettes. This, at least my Ulta only has like the, just the eyeshadow palette. But this eyeshadow palette comes with six. Okay, this eyeshadow palette comes with, this eyeshadow, <laughs> I just count, 12 pressed shadows and then also a matte lipstick. So, I don't have a lot of time before work, honestly. Oh my god. This is gonna be the quickest tutorial I've ever. Oh, I don't know if I have time for this. Oh, okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I just opened the box and the packaging is super cute. The inside has this like black and white diamond pattern. I watched the launch video with Kris Jenner and she was saying how the inside of the packaging has that black and white diamond pattern because it matches like the foyer of her house. So that's richest part of her. <laughs> this is what the palette itself looks like. And I open it up and it says, you're doing amazing, sweetie. Chris said in that video that this was like a play on um, Kim's Playboy photo shoot way back in the day. And this was her supporting her on the sidelines during the photo shoot. Damn. Kim, Come you're doing program. amazing, push sweetie. Push this knee out. Hot. That's push, 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 push. Sweetie. These are the shades. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Um, they all have really cute names. I love myself. Gorgeous. It's an emergency. Very nice. Haters. Vodka tonic. Payback of uh, 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 paybacks of. You know what they say. It takes a bitch to know a bitch. Impressed. Ten percent. I'm watching you. Talent doesn't come in black. And those are the shadow names. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. I already have my foundation on and eyebrows, clearly. Let's start with priming. Maybe. Okay, so I'm just gonna be slapping on Urban Decay Primer Potion. I suppose when I come home from work later, um, I can like do a little check-in, see how the shadows have stayed. Oh my god, I'm really anxious right now. I have not a lot of time for time for time for time for time for I have to leave for work. I got up early, but this hair took so freaking long to put in because I'm not used to having a blunt 
haircut when I put in my clip in section clip clip in extensions. Holy sh! I can't talk today. And I'm not used to having like such a blunt cut, so it was really difficult for me to like blend and curl and whatever. All right, what kind of look do I want to go for? Leave your makeup everywhere. Move on and tell me apart. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this shade called Paybacks a bitch. Takes a bitch, and, bitch. bitch. and I'm just gonna lay that down in the crease. This is a very smoky eye neutral palette, so I'm just gonna get myself a nice snoop. Oh my god, I literally cannot talk today. I'm just gonna get myself a nice neutral smoky eye. Pack it on like this to begin with. Don't worry, I will blend. Um, take with a really big fluffy brush and just blend it out. Oh, this eyeshadow brush has a little bit of pink on it that worries me. I don't have time to clean them right now, so. I'm gonna take I Love Myself, which is like the white. I mean, it's not white white, but it's like a cream white. And I'm just going to blend this out on a fluffy brush with that. And then I'm gonna take It's an Emergency and just kind of throw it on top of there. I don't really know where I'm going with this at the moment, but we'll see where it goes. Okay, so I don't know if it's focusing right now, but I'm gonna take this shade 10%. Kind of deepen out this outer corner. I wish I had more time to do my makeup so I didn't like so it didn't look like complete shit. but alas I'm running late per usual there's not much fallout right now I just got a little bit right there but I did have a lot a lot on the brush I heard people I read people in the in the reviews saying that there was a lot of fallout here and there and I was like you're tweaking because there's not that much fallout compared to like a normal eyeshadow palette this is pretty standard for fall if not like on the good side of it so y'all lying or you just don't know how to do makeup Ooh, uh, this is just a really big fluffy brush I don't know what I should lay down let me swatch haters oh god I've never done a swatch on camera before okay how do you do this can you see that This is vodka tonic. Let's do. I'm gonna mix them. Oh my god, I'm gonna mix them. I mix these drinks till you out of focus. Wiping my brush off on my leggings in case anyone was wondering. Ah. So I'm going to lay down vodka tonic, which is the more champagne color. Pretty. Oh, I love it. There's no, f well, there's a little, little, little bit of fallout, but there's not much for how pretty this is, like shimmery. Move it into me apart. Show me that you really can. That you really can. That you, oh no. Glad I saw it now. I hate when I'm like filming and I don't notice that there's like black stuff somewhere. <laughs> I'm like, oh, good, good. When I'm editing, good. Oh, it's on my hand. Oh my God, that makes so much sense. Wow, I'm glad I went to college. And then I am gonna take Haters, that silver shimmer. I'm gonna pop it in the middle, I think, if this works out right. Just to kind of brighten this middle section of my eye a little bit. This video is my application to be Kylie Jenner's newest BFF. So, so hey girl, hey girl. Oh, there is like just the slightest bit of fallout. I'm just gonna. Weep. Okay, I normally would do a shimmery eyebrow bone highlight, but there isn't any like white shimmers in there. I'm just gonna take, <laughs> I love myself. We could go for a matte moment today though up here. We do have a lot of shimmer on the eyelids. I'm just a shimmer. I'm just gonna do one last little like blend moment between that and the brow bone. 
and then I am gonna break rules just a little bit I die for that inner corner highlight and I don't think I want to put that silver where I put it in the middle like on my inner corner because I want like a white white like bang so I'm just gonna take my Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette oh hi camera and I'm just gonna take this white shade VIP and pop it on my inner corner I'm gonna smoke some under let's take a mixture of payback is a and 10% I'm gonna smudge this under my lash line sorry that I didn't like zoom this video up like in my face for the for the eye part um I'm just running out of time and I didn't want to that I didn't want to mess with that cuz I'm gonna be late to work if I put too much effort into the filming aspect of this it's okay though we still subscribe Okay, now I'm gonna go grab my lashes from the bathroom because I keep like all my like dead little lashes in a little tray by the shower. No, just kidding, I lied, that's by the toilet. So, one sec. Okay, so from here on out, I'm not gonna talk that much because it is coming down to the last like 15 minutes before I have to leave and I have to get this finished up. So this is probably just gonna be sped up, cute little montage style, and then I will check back in with you probably after work because I will not really have time for this. And then I need a contour, oh my God, oh my God. <gasps> I need to contour, blush, and highlight my face. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. Can we just admire Kris Jenner in the video, though? She literally has an assistant holding her mirror for her, like, right here while she applies everything. <laughs> my makeup artist, Etty, is here and holding my mirror. Sometimes I love a bold lip. Like, literally just holding it. Like, that is the equivalent of using someone as a footrest. Like, seriously. Just letting you know, I am accepting applications for mirror holder. So, if that's you, comment down below. Um, comment why you would be the best mirror holder for me. I'm gonna start bronzing. Wow, my lash glue gets tacky, so I'm not good to work. do my lipstick here so I'm gonna take it to work I think and then come back and let you guys know how it wore and then I am gonna be using the um, face I think this is called face the highlight color actually I might be wrong I'm not sure and then I mix them with that sometimes That's what I'm gonna get my highlight today. And then I like to take this white shade up here and use that for nose highlight. I'm just gonna throw some more gloss on for plumping effect before I go to work. And then, of course, last but definitely not least. Mm. This is a new can. That is so good. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get changed and ready for work. And I will check back in with you in like 0.2 seconds. But it's going to be like five or six hours for me. But I will check back in with you guys after work. Okay, bye. Don't feel bad. You should know that. On the phone like it's now, it's now. But I've been going through changes. Going through changes without you. Yeah, I've been going through changes, going through changes without you. And I worry one day I'll wake up and you won't know me. And I worry one day I'll wake up and you won't know me. And I worry one day I'll wake up and you won't know me anymore. Hi, future Olivia here. I just want everyone to know that yes, I indeed did buy meet and greet tickets with Black Bear for his Chicago concert next month.
<laughs> um, yeah, so just wanted to let everyone know that I am a bougie bitch and I'm going to be meeting my dad um, next month on the 15th. So I'm super pumped. I want you all to be pumped with me and definitely check out his new album, Anonymous, if you haven't. Alrighty, bear cubs. Let's go. All right, enough of that. <laughs> I'm back like that. <laughs> so it's been like five or six hours for me, it's been like 0.2 seconds for you. So uh, hi, hi editing. Anyway, sorry about me being rushed as frick this morning. I just, uh, early is on time, guys. But I clocked in on the dot, so. <laughs> so I actually just now applied um, this matte lipstick in Todd, like the shade Todd Cranes that comes with the palette and I actually just applied it because I forgot to grab it on my way out the door I was just gonna put it on at work but I forgot it so I just grabbed my lip gloss and used that all day instead that was in my car but I can attest to how these wear because I do have another Kylie lip kit and they are matte so they are gonna be drying that's just their nature I know a lot of people have a lot to say about Kylie cosmetics like the lip kits people like to say they're like really drying and they're like crappy formula personally I just think it's I don't even know where that came from. I'm literally starving. I haven't eaten or had like anything to drink all day. I'm like, it's real bad to my body today. It's probably like a hunger burp when your stomach's like, feed me, bitch. Anyway, so a lot of people have a lot to say about Kylie cosmetics or Kylie lip kits and I really do like hers Honestly, I just typically don't like matte lipsticks because I don't like the way they feel on my lips And I don't blame Kylie cosmetics for having like the dry lip feel to them because that's just like the nature of a matte lipstick You're gonna get dry lips. It dries down matte on your lips and that is just the way the cookie crumbles Okay, and a lot of people don't understand that but hey Kylie, I'm here for you. I'm supporting you. I'm backing you up girl so for all you freaking haters out there of Kylie Cosmetics know that it is the nature of the product it's not the product itself and that's the tea sis anyway but this is the color on I think it's a really pretty color I was scared it was gonna be too light because I know some nudes if they're too light they'll wash you out especially if you're like fair skinned I'm a little tanned right now I do have fake tan it's been on for like a week so I am still sort of tanned but even then some matter some nude some nude lipsticks still will wash me out and just kind of like make my lips disappear and that's obviously not what I want to do. I feel like this will be really versatile for a lot of different skin tones because it's just like the right amount of color. It's not too much and it's not too little. And as far as the wear of the eyeshadow, I got a lot of compliments on my eyes today and I obviously was working at Ulta and I was like, <laughs> um, the shimmers have stayed intact. So I don't know what people are saying. I read some reviews on like the Ulta website. Some people were saying like they didn't really like the eyeshadow um, itself. They said that it was like chalky unblendable and a lot of fallout I would just have to completely disagree with that because I did not notice a lot of fallout at all I, I would compare them to like oh, I'm just please it went away Fuck, I hate when that happens oh I love a good sneeze oh good sneeze now I'm disappointed you know when you're about to sneeze and you're really excited for it and then it just never happens so this say like a sneeze is like an eighth of an orgasm or something or like some percentage hey Siri what percentage of a sneeze is an orgasm? Okay, I found this on the web for what percentage of a sneeze is an orgasm. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. The more you know. <laughs> it is an eighth. Oh my god, I was right. Oh, wait, this article starts out with I came late to the masturbation party. Let that sink in. <laughs> All of that right there. That whole sentence was a lot of wow. The amount of endorphins produced by a sneeze is far less than an orgasm and there is no cumulative effect with sneezing so no amount of sneezing is going to feel like an orgasm. Aww, debunked. Well sneezing feels really good no matter what so I would compare the fallout of this Kris Jenner palette pretty comparable to like Morphe palettes and I personally think like Morphe palettes are great on the fallout on the fallout spectrum so I would honestly give this palette an A plus for wear the wear it stayed on really pigmented it stayed on really pretty I haven't noticed anything weird happening with it it looks just as good as it did six hours ago anyway since I rushed this morning's makeup tutorial really badly and honestly I am so sh at YouTube right now like I am I think I love making YouTube videos and I think I'm not that bad at it but like I've just been so shitty about like uploading and stuff and honestly I need to be better with my schedule and planning and be less you know depressed and sad and just make myself 
freaking happy. So I thought since I had to rush this morning's makeup tutorial that I would go ahead and turn this daytime, I mean daytime for me, this is a pretty daytime look for someone who wears a lot of makeup like me. I would turn this daytime smoky eye into a nighttime smoky eye. Uh. There's already a lot of darkness in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and add the shade Does It Come In Black, which is uh, the black shade. Grab my brushes. On a fluffy brush, I'm taking Payback is a bitch. And I'm gonna blend out that black that I just laid down there. Can you even tell the difference? <laughs> I already had such heavy eye makeup on. I'm like, let's make it a nighttime look. <laughs> oh, Olivia. All right, well, I'm gonna add black to the other eye too, even though it's already pretty dark over there. I feel like I need to add more to it. This looks almost the same. I already had such dark makeup on. I should have done lighter. I should have thought of this earlier. Day before I went to work. Maybe I'll pack more shimmer on or something. Yeah, let's add more shimmer. I really like keeping it light. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shimmer shade again. Um, I put this on earlier. Pop more in the center, just make it more intense. I've just been taking this plummy color right here. It's called Very Nice, and I'm just packing it right next to um, the black, in between the black and the silver that I just put on. And on a little thin brush like this, I'm just taking Does It Come In Black? This is really weird and like, I don't know if anyone else does this, but if I'm like adding more eyeshadow on and like it falls onto my lashes, I'll just put black eyeshadow over it just to cover it up so you don't see it when I like look down. Tips and tricks from Olivia. It's been a day, so I'm going to refresh my face real fast. I literally will use this even when I'm not wearing makeup because it just feels so, so good. I love this hair so much, you guys. Like, holy crap, it is so cute. Comment down below if you're digging this hair. Um, and if you're not, then don't say anything because I'm really sensitive. <laughs> Anyway, this is the final look for look number two. I can almost guarantee you my day look is just as dark as my night look is. <laughs> I like added some black, but I'm like, wow, that barely made a difference. But that's just because I'm a heavy makeup wearer. So for any of you normal folk out there who don't take it on by the pound daily, this will be really intense for you. <laughs> You're doing amazing, sweetie. So I definitely approve this in my books. Like I would recommend this to any of my friends. I would definitely give something like this to my mom if she wore more than just like a nice wing every day. My mom doesn't really mess with eyeshadow. She just always has like a cute little wing and she gets her eyebrows. She's cute, she's cute as Um, I would definitely recommend this to all the moms out there, all the friends out there, all the boys, all the girls, all the gays, all the girls. <laughs> it's a pretty good price range for what you get. You get the full size Kylie lip and then you get a 12 shade eyeshadow palette. And I think that's a great price for $49. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed because I am really, really, really trying to grow my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful or fun or, I don't know, useful in some way. And if you aren't already subscribed, I would literally die for you if you subscribe. Literally die for you. And definitely turn on that bell notification to get notified when I do post since we know how I am with my inconsistencies. So if you put that bell notification on, it would really help you out and help me out. I hope to see you guys back on my channel. And until next time, stay good. Fifteen acres later, I'm still waking up with paper in the Maybach to the Lakers. Watch a girl, I'm doing labor. I'm from switches.